Good late Saturday evening. I am certified meteorologist Nick Kelly checking in on this October 13th of 2018. It definitely felt like a fall day and a day where we're better off just huddled inside next to the fire or with a good book under a warm blanket because with all the clouds and the rain around, it was definitely a chilly Saturday all across the area. The Skywatch Storm Tracker showed everybody dealing with the cloud cover today. And for areas along the south of 44, that's where the brunt of the light to moderate rain was today compared to the widespread rain we all saw yesterday. Speaking of yesterday, here are the rain amounts so far according to radar estimates. Starting at about midnight on Friday proper, not much in the way of accumulating rainfall. There have been some pockets where we have been pushing almost half an inch. But in general, wherever you see areas starting to get shaded in, uh, let's say about a tenth to about half an inch. The latest look at the Skywatch Storm Tracker radar network, though, at 946, had the brunt of the light to moderate rain out of the area. But you can still see the radar picking up hints of either very light showers or just a few spots of drizzle across the area. Otherwise, most of us were still under the clouds with this shot from 7th and Range Line from the east side of Joplin late on this Saturday night. At least most of us were getting our break from the rain chances before more will work back in as we go into the next 24 hours. 54, 39. That is the high and the low, officially, out of the Joplin Regional Airport today. So, yeah, definitely a chilly day. Keep in mind, for a normal October 13th, or in the middle of October in general, we should be seeing lows starting around 50 degrees and highs topping out around 72 degrees. So we were a good deal below normal in both respects today. As far as rain goes, about a tenth of an inch observed at the Joplin Regional Airport. Again, we're getting the break in the rain in Joplin now, even though the roads are still wet. But... We're cloudy and we're chilly still. 52 degrees with an east breeze at 7. The humidity, it's getting pretty high again at 97% thanks to a dew point at 51. We are going to see temperatures hold close to the dew point tonight, although I do think we can get a little more drier air in here. That will only allow us to drop back to about 50, but with some pockets of clearing with the humidity that high, I would not be surprised if we have patchy fog develop across parts of the area late tonight going into your Sunday. Temperatures across the area for this morning, though, everybody started out cold, if not cool, upper 30s to about 44, 45 degrees across the area, and everybody just had to make do with, in general, middle 50s all across the area for afternoon highs today. The last check of temperatures we had for you before the 10 o'clock hour uh, had a few outlying areas close to 50 already, 48 in Iola, 49 in Yates Center. Most of us, though, are still holding in the lower 50s, but again, I think most of us will hold steady around 50 degrees as we go into the rest of the night. The Skywatch Storm Tracker, let's widen the view out. We had the rain from today being caused by this system. That's actually the remnants of what once was Hurricane and Tropical Storm Sergio as it came out of the Pacific. It worked over the Yamaha Peninsula, northwestern Mexico. And at its strongest, well, to the south of us, it caused some severe weather across parts of Texas this afternoon and earlier this evening. Again, we're getting a break in the action, but we're in between two systems now. We have our departing system to the south of us passing on to the east. And north and west of here, you can already tell the, where the next system is with the rain and the snow picking up in the uh, northern plains and parts of the northern Rockies. That is our next cold front. We won't have to worry about wintry weather making it here, but that is our next system that will bring rain chances back in here. So let's time things out with the future track, starting with the wide view of things. Again, throughout the night, most of us will be dry. With that said, mostly cloudy. It's going to be chilly with temperatures holding steady around 50. And if we can get some breaks in the clouds, that may allow patchy fog to develop. So there's something to keep in mind if you're going to be out on the roads late tonight or heading back to uh, church and breakfast first thing in the morning. And it's just going to be a chilly day where temperatures struggle to go anywhere. We'll be holding in the 50s all day long. Then as that front works in, we'll see rain chances start to return, light to moderate rain in general, starting on the Kansas side and then working south and east from about the early afternoon and going into the rest of the Sunday afternoon and into the evening. As we go into Sunday night, rain chances will still be holding on, but you saw there where we had a little bit of a wintry mix trying to mix in. It's not going to make it here. In general, we'll just deal with some rain chances holding on as we go into late Sunday night and Monday morning. Then Monday, we will see 
partly sunny skies, or at least a cloud cover breaking apart, but that cold front is going to keep the chilly air in place. And even though we'll have sun on Monday, we're only going to see highs topping out right around 50 degrees in many spots. Thankfully, though, from Monday afternoon through the middle of next week, we will have skies staying partly sunny and we will stay dry. Temperatures will moderate as we go into the middle of the week, thinking lower to middle 60s by the time we hit Wednesday and Thursday especially, but that's still below normal. Keep in mind, we should be in the lower 70s for highs. And then I'm keeping an eye on another system that will try to work in here and bring in some more rain chances by next weekend. We'll keep our eyes on that. And of course, you can see how the rest of the month is looking and how November's looking with Doug's long-range long forecast on the month-long blog at koamtv.com on our weather page. Here's a close-up view of the forecast for tonight. Again, we are going to keep the cloud cover in place with some breaks in the clearing, though. At least some breaks in the cloud cover. That makes more sense. Upper 40s to lower 50s. Most spots will be around 50, and we can't rely some patchy fog as we go into your Sunday morning. We start at 50 for most of us in the morning. It's going to be a quick jump to 58 for our high by lunchtime. And then as those rain chances pick on up and as the cold front begins to work on in, we're going to have temperatures primarily holding around 55 degrees across much of the area. Maybe a little cooler on the Kansas side where you'll get the colder air to work in first and quite a bit of it. But it's going to be another chilly day, kind of a raw day too, with plenty of cloud cover and rain chances holding on. 37 Sunday night. 49 for an afternoon high on Monday. Then there's Tuesday morning. Let's keep a close eye on that. I have a good feeling that if we don't do it Sunday night, Monday night will be our chance for our good first frost, if not a hard freeze for some of you. Then we'll jump to 55 Tuesday, 62 Wednesday, 65 Thursday. We're dry Tuesday through Thursday. And then there's that next system that will want to come in by the weekend. And if those rain chances pan out, that should keep temperatures around 60 for that start of the weekend. Have a good night. Have a great Sunday.